One of the most visible impacts we've seen from all this has been pavement buckling on the interstate. Take a look. So it's easy to miss when you're driving over it, but the interstate isn't one continuous section. It's actually a series of smaller concrete pieces. When those expand, the edges butt together, rise up, and create a bump that needs to be repaired. That means some serious delays for traffic and drivers, and it's far from the only impact of this heat. A day of record temperatures in the northwest and Washington is feeling the impacts. Monday afternoon, this section of pavement on I-5 buckled from the heat. WashDOT dealt with at least seven similar incidents over the weekend. The heat expands the concrete, they push up against each other, and then they heave up above the roadway and create a large bump. A bump that means closures and delays until crews can patch it. Across the region, heat made getting around more difficult. Seattle is spraying steel drawbridges with water to keep them cool and operating, and Sound Transit slowed Link and Sounder trains, citing the heat expanding key components. It is a taste of infrastructure impacts in our warming climate. If we just look at climate change, there are a lot of different things, um, what I think you would call climate stressors, you know, things that happen in the climate that can put stress on infrastructure. Steve Mench teaches civil and environmental engineering at the University of Washington and says we can build and prepare for warmer temps, but it comes with a cost. What you're saying, right, is as the climate continues to change, cities are going to have to adapt. Oh, for sure. Yeah, ab absolutely. And, and so we have to think carefully about how that adaptation happens. And honestly, you know, part of it is the engineering stuff that I study on a day to day basis, like materials and equipment and stuff like that. But let's be frank, right? The biggest adaptation to happen are it, it, people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If people are willing to do this and willing to put the money out for it. A question front of mind as Seattle swelters for another day with infrastructure and people suffering the impacts. And of course, as temperatures soar in the late afternoon from hours of the sun beating down is when this is the worst. WashDOT said in the last couple of hours they've seen at least four sections that have needed repairs and are causing delays. In Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News.